Welcome back and we have been showing you excerpts of an exclusive interview that we will play out in detail at 7 p.m. An interview with the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, done by Anjana Umkashyap, Shweta Singh and News Director India Today in Archdak, Rahul Kaval, who joins us now on the broadcast. Uh, and Rahul, a very, very interesting interview that the entire nation looked forward to. An interview done after Prime Minister Narendra Modi's impressive roadshow that drew mammoth crowds. Prime Minister Modi speaking to you on a host of issues if you could just share us you know a few experiences uh, and and your thoughts about the entire exclusive interview that we'll only watch at 7 p.m today there's been a general perception that prime minister narendra modi is wary of taking tough questions that interviewers are told that they can't cross question him they are asked to omit a whole bunch of questions on controversial issues that don't suit the Prime Minister and the Bharati Janta Party government. I think a lot of those uh, notions are about to be shattered this evening when the India Today group brings you the first interview that the Prime Minister has done outside his residence at Lok Khalyan Mark. This is the interview Ganga Kinarewala. Uh, we started off at the Assi Ghat, uh, walked all the way around the Ghats and then onto this uh, steamer going up to uh, Dashashwamedh Ghat and then coming back. The critical thing in this interview is that there are very e serious, intense questions on farmer uh, income, agrarian distress, yes. unemployment, black money, job creation, the uh, institutional autonomy, uh, whether the government is trying to crack down on the freedom of our institutions, questions that people think the government and the Prime Minister want to stay away from. Those questions have been posed to him with counter questions based on his response and he's uh, spent about one and a half hours with us answering some of these questions. So I think this whole notion that oh he doesn't want to answer tough questions. I think those questions hadn't been asked. A lot of those questions have been asked in this interview and we'll have that out for our viewers on India Today TV and Aaj Tak this evening. And, and you know some of the, uh, the highlights, uh, if you could just give us a synopsis without divulging uh, on the issues that he spoke of. Uh, Rahul, if you could just give us a sense of that interview that he did with you, with Anjana and with Shweta because it comes at a time when the Congress President has been just lashing out at the Prime Minister. He's even thrown an open uh, debate dare at the Prime Minister to speak on a host of issues and today the Prime Minister opening up and, and uh, speaking to all three of you quite candidly on those pressing matters. You know, the government had promised to double farm income by 2022. Uh, in the first few years of the Modi government, farm income hasn't quite uh, increased at a pace to be able to meet that target if it continues in the same line. Will the Prime Minister be able to achieve that target? Why does he constantly refer to the Balakot air strikes? Is this a diversionary attempt? an attempt to try and divert attention from issues like unemployment, rural distress. What about the sanctity of government data in India? How does he perceive this growing controversy uh, around how government agencies are handling and dealing with this data? Is the government trying to interfere, fudge uh, with the numbers? Also questions around uh, the press conferences by uh, judges in the Supreme Court, CBI officers at war, is institutional authority under threat, is institutional autonomy under threat. So a lot of these questions which people have had in their minds but questions which nobody really has had the courage to ask, questions that needed to be asked, uh, responses and a conversation that needed to be had, we've asked those questions. Now of course it's for viewers to judge what they make of uh, his responses, what they make of the questions, the counter questions, but at least there is all of that. And this notion that he's not willing to take questions or he doesn't want counter questions or uh, that he'll walk away, etc. None of that happened. The questions that needed to be asked were asked and you will see the answers when they play out this evening. Oh, absolutely. And here's the Prime Minister, uh, Rahul, that undoubtedly has a pan-India appeal. Uh, on a lighter note, uh, you know, the Prime Minister and his energy levels, Rahul, he had just finished that massive, impressive roadshow, drawing a mammoth number of people. And uh, he looked so fresh uh, during his interaction with you and with Anjana and Shweta. And that's something that's admired by so many. I think his energy levels... 
his energy levels and the mangoes he eats have been dealt with. You know, what we wanted to focus was on the real intense issues, the in issues of uh, governance, the issues of administration, the issues of delivery, his promises, uh, the government promised uh, that there will be, the government will have no business of being in business. Uh, we're still running hotels, the government is still running airlines. Why is that the case? He promised uh, maximum governance, minimum government. We're seeing the number of ministries between his first year in office and later actually increase as opposed to come down. Why is that happening? What does he intend to do about it? Does the government intend to disinvest Air India? If uh, the primary target of demonetization was to suck away black money, how is the cash in circulation at this time more than the cash in circulation at the time of disinvestment? How much black money did we get? These are serious issues, issues that needed to be dealt with head on and those are the kind of questions we put to the Prime Minister and you will be seeing his responses uh, this evening 7pm on India Today and on Achtap. Oh, absolutely. And we really look forward to watching that exclusive interview. Rahul, just one last question. Uh, while you were asking all of those very important questions that the opposition has been charging the BJP and the Prime Minister for some very pressing matters as far as uh, farmers' distress is concerned, or agrarian crisis, the economy, etc. Was there any uh, point where the Prime Minister was reluctant to respond to those very pressing matters or, you know, give his views and share his thoughts as far as those uh, important issues are concerned? Not at all. In fact, there were several impromptu questions which just arose from what the Prime Minister was saying and our counter questions around his answers. And it was a very freewheeling conversation with no restrictions on what can and cannot be asked, what should or should not be done. So in that sense, this notion which, you know, if you see private conversations, if you see political chatter, if you see on social media, there is this very strong belief uh, that he has a Prime Minister who's running away from questions. We didn't get that sense at all. In fact, here was a Prime Minister who seemed eager on taking hard questions head on. Uh, instead of trying to stay away from them, he was looking at those questions, responding to them and explaining what he'd done. He was, not, he was not a Prime Minister who's saying, I've done everything that needed to be done and India is shining. He realizes the limitations of what he's done. He's explaining what he hopes to do over the next uh, five years if yes. he gets another opportunity. And what struck me as being very interesting was that uh, the Prime Minister was totally there. You know, it's not as if, you know, even when you're, for example, anchoring or somebody's reporting, they may have their Twitter, WhatsApp, Facebook on in a phone, uh, checking that as they anchor a report. True. Whereas he, he had absolutely no distraction. For the one and a half hours that he was with us, he was totally committed to that conversation, wanting to make it special uh, and wanting to ensure that his message goes out as strong as possible. So here's a man who, forget the energy levels just for a moment because that's been spoken of a lot, but here's a man who is bringing a lot of purpose, a lot of commitment, a lot of focus to what he's doing, whether it's some meeting with government officers or just an interview with uh, a bunch of journalists. he's listening carefully to what is being said, engaging in that conversation and giving it his best. And you can see those answers this evening, 7 p.m. on India Today and on Aachdaq. Absolutely fascinating. Uh, Rahul, thank you so much uh, for sharing with us some uh, moments of that exclusive interview, the detailed interview that we all are looking forward to watch. You can only catch it on India Today at 7 p.m., an interview with the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who has spoken quite candidly on a host of some very important issues. In fact, just a few days ago, the Prime Minister had died Jim Kurtas every year and while he was speaking to India Today's Anjana Om Kashyap, the Prime Minister spoke at length about his personal equation, his personal relationship with the Trinamool Congress chief and the other opposition leaders as well. Mamta Banerjee, sir, you have told me in an interview that the kurta gives you a gift. But on the ground, there are so many fights, there are so many fights, you go with them, they are against them, they are against them, they are against them, they are against them. उस लड़ाई में आपको लग रहा है क्योंकि पश्चिम बंगाल से आप लोग उम्मीदें लगाए हैं कि बहुत सारी सीटें इस बार आएंगी क्या होगा और कैसे होगा देखिए अडवाणी जी ने अभी एक बढ़िया ब्लॉग लिखा था हमारी पार्टी के जन्मदिन पर और वही हमारा मूल चरित्र है हम किसी को अपना दुश्मन नहीं मानते और इसलिए व्यक्तिगत तौर पर अगर आप भी जब टी स्क्रीन पर होते हैं तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी को धज्जा उड़ा देते हैं मोदी को भी आप कुछ भी बोल देती हो लेकिन उसके कारण हमारा आपके प्रति आदर कम नहीं होता है हम आपका सम्मान कम नहीं करते आप क्या वो एक दायित्व है आप अपना दायित्व निभाती हैं और आपने निभाना भी चाहिए उसी प्रकार से व्यक्तिगत संबंध अलग चीज होते हैं व्यवहार अलग चीज होती है 
और उसके कारण राजनीतिक हमारी वैचारिक लड़ाई है वो वैचारिक लड़ाई तगड़ी होगी लेकिन मुझे दुख इस बात का है कि ममता जी जिस लेफ्ट के खिलाफ जिन मुद्दों को लेकर के लड़के आई थी हिंसा के खिलाफ और ममता जी ने 2009 में पार्लियामेंट में कहा था कि बांग्लादेशियों को हटाओ और पार्लियामेंट में कागज फेंक दिए थे ममता जी ने मांग की थी कि बंगाल में चुनाव कराना है तो राष्ट्रपति शासन लाइए बंगाल को आर्मी के हवाले करिए और चुनाव कराइए वही ममता जी आज हर दिन वहाँ चुनाव में एक एक हत्या हो रही है तब होता है कि कौन से वाली ममता दीदी है चिंता वो है ममता दीदी इतनी बदल जाए ये मैं कल्पना ही नहीं करता था मैंने तो पब्लिक भी कहा कि ममता जी के संबंध में मेरा असेसमेंट गलत निकला वरना मैं गुजरात का मुख्यमंत्री था वैचारिक विरोध था लेकिन मैं मन में सोचता था एक कमिटेड कोई काम करने के इरादे वाली महिला रखती है लेकिन अब जो देख रहा हूँ मैं मैं हैरान हूँ कि देश का दुर्भाग्य है कि ऐसे लोग बड़े हो गए And speaking of political ripples over the Prime Minister's interview, the Trinamool Congress has responded. They have hit back at the Prime Minister over his comment on Mamta Banerjee. Let's listen in to what the Trinamool Congress Minister had to say. We are also expecting a lot of things from Mr. Modi. But Mr. Modi has turned out that he is not an effective Prime Minister. He is trying to divide the country. He is trying to divide the country on religion basis. He has many issues under his sleeves, which is not proper for India's progress. So we think that as Gujarat Chief Minister, he was little bit effective, but as Prime Minister, he couldn't grasp the whole situation, and that is why Mr. Modi, sitting in the chair, says nothing has happened in India. All Prime Ministers in the oh, they have done nothing, and he is doing everything. Indrajit Kundu joins us for more on this. Indrajit, perhaps uh, some damage control there by the Trinamool Congress Minister trying to save his government of some embarrassment after the Prime Minister revealed that Mamata Banerjee actually gifts him kurtas every year. Well, you know, Mamata Banerjee had herself responded to uh, you know Prime Minister Modi's uh, uh, interview uh, a few days back, where he had uh, stated that. Uh, Mamta Banerjee used to send her not just sweets but even kurtas. And uh, what the Chief Minister has stated is that the Prime Minister using political courtesy, these, these uh, you know uh, issues for political gain. So she he, she said that it was unfortunate that the Prime Minister was revealing these details, and she said that there was no secret about it. She she extends such political courtesy not just the Prime Minister but other leaders as well. She said that I have been. a uh, parliamentarian for several years and therefore i have had uh, relationships with so many uh, political parties cutting across ideologies and we do extend uh, political courtesy but to make it uh, an issue during elections is something that is unfortunate this is what the trinamool congress has said as far as uh, the prime minister's interview to uh, india today is concerned he is uh, made a scathing attack against uh, trinamool congress supreme mamta banerji stating that his own assessment of the chief minister uh, has seemed to have Changed from the time uh, Mamata Banerjee okay. became uh, the chief minister and her rule, and whether there was no poly bottom or all. Uh, the Trinamool Congress says that while the prime minister was free to have his own assessment, the Trinamool Congress's assessment of the prime minister's role uh, is that of a complete failure. All right. Uh, let me get in Sanjay Jha now from uh, the Congress Party, and we also have with us Gulray Sheikh from the BJP, Shrijana Mitra Das, our opinion editor, also joining us uh, on the broadcast. Sanjay, uh, how do you respond to Mamta Banerjee, the Trinamool Congress hitting back uh, on the remarks and uh, the revelations by the Prime Minister that she's been gifting him kurtas every year, but the same hasn't been returned in kind as far as delivery of promises is concerned. you know i i don't want to comment on uh, their personal uh, back and forth the larger issue is very simple that prime minister narendra modi indulging in theatrics the massive expenditure of money i believe water has been wasted in millions of liters in varanasi in a country that is facing a serious water crisis uh, the way he did a you know very celebrity uh, fake uh, tv interview uh, once again making a comment that you know vote on on the success of the military endeavors clearly narendra modi is panicked 
yesterday's entire melodrama over his uh, road show again today the hype and hoopla over his nomination after the first three phases of falls of antika i think the bgp knows they are down and out and and rather fast so it's a matter of time Just before very quickly, as they say, the speaking of hype and hoopla there was enough Narendra hype and Modi hoopla is speculation a lot of pot around at everybody. priyanka it gandhi work. being pitted against uh, the prime minister what happened there the bjp claims that the that the congress party has chickened out uh, you know after seeing the enormous appeal and popularity in varanasi they have chickened <laughs> out and they backed off deciding against uh, fielding priyanka gandhi from varanasi is that true Uh, Avantika, let me tell you, the viewers of your channel, very popular and respected channel, are smart enough to know that Narendra Modi is, spends crores of rupees in every rally. And you know, if you do that kind of massive expenditure, I think mostly funded through black money, you can you can create all the op optics that you like. To answer your question on Priyanka Gandhi Vadra. Had she contested him in Varanasi, she would have defeated Modi. But we realize we are fighting an election to win more than one or two Lok Sabha seats from Uttar Pradesh, <laughs> and there is a huge demand for her across eastern eastern Uttar Pradesh, central Uttar Pradesh. And we do believe that her campaigning, the you know the kind of public uh, contact she has, she's developed okay. great affinity with crowds. Uh, people are loving her, very warm, endearing, and what I call as grounded speeches, not the usual rubbish of Modi. So I think you know there is a very smart, it's a very intelligent, and I believe a very practical decision. Gurresh, how do you respond? How do you respond, this, uh, do you respond to the versus... Congress's charge of the BJP oh, yes. being jittery and, I, and, and I, anxious and banking and I do think on? Ajay, I will defeat him. And banking on the Prime Minister's blitz in Varanasi. See, there is a panic and havoc in the Congress party. And with Mr. Jha's comments, it's uh, obvious that uh, they are losing elections very badly. And now to say Priyanka Gandhi, uh, they have... Uh, no, they claim that the BJP is percent. anxious. In fact, the Congress is saying that all the razzmatazz attached to this uh, road show that one saw yesterday in Varanasi is a result of the anxiety coming in from the BJP. The Congress feels that this time they have a far better chance uh, to win many seats as compared to the BJP. The one thing is there, uh, any popular leader throughout the world, you turn the pages of history, definitely he is a he or she is a crowd attracting leader and that goes with Mr. Narendra Modi ji. But uh, Mr. Jha is a very senior spokesperson and leader of Congress party. I humbly want to ask him, uh, just name one candidate from Nehru Gandhi family who has fought against a big leader uh, of opposition. You won't find a single person who have heads on taken any big uh, leader okay. of opposition. And the reason behind that is Congress is just like a uh, private limited company. They have filled, they have filled it. Mr. I'll just Sanjay get you Rai in. Sanjay, I'll just and get so, you in. All right, Mr. Sheikh, just kindly stay on with me. I just have to take a very short break. I'll just get both the gentlemen and also my colleague Srijana in just a bit. But but once again, a quick reminder, don't forget to tune into India Today at 7 p.m. today. We have that exclusive interview with the Prime Minister done by three senior journalists, editors of the India Today group, Anjana Om Kashyap, Shweta Singh and News Director Rahul Kaval. In fact, the Prime Minister speaking at length on a host of issues. That interview will be played at 7 p.m.